wrestling free agency market is stacked to the brim right now with 2024 shaping up to be a very interesting year when it comes to major signings. The WWE Royal Rumble is just days away, TNA Wrestling is back and looking for new stars, whilst AEW are entering their most important year so far with them looking to get the best television deal they can. They're also being competition from WWE Raw for their spots on TBS and TNT. Let's also not forget that New Japan Pro Wrestling want to fill the void left by many major recent departures. This all means that there's plenty of options for everybody that makes this list. So with that said, let's take a look at the 12 hottest current free agents in wrestling today. And be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on and drop a like on this video to help give it a kick into the YouTube algorithm. Former leader of Retribution, Mustafa Ali has an abundance of avenues to explore following his WWE release in September, with him being booked all across the world for several independent companies, as well as for New Japan Pro Wrestling, albeit on a freelance basis. Despite his long tenure with WWE, he never managed to pick up any championships in the company, and his quest for major gold could continue if he chooses to chase the TNA X Division Championship or the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title in New Japan that would allow him a chance to develop his character and work his way up the card. Perhaps he could even be a good fit for the style that works in all elite wrestling, although I'd be reluctant to suggest too many AEW signings from this list due to there being an already stacked roster, whilst the recent TNA rebrand and several major NJPW departures have opened up a ton of opportunities elsewhere. Whilst our next entry isn't technically a free agent just yet, he is nearing the tail end of his current contract and has confirmed that he's set to go elsewhere. Kazuchika Okada, arguably the biggest name in New Japan Pro Wrestling, would reveal via the NJPW website that he will leave the company when his deal ends on January 31st, with there being options aplenty for the Rainmaker, and this is what his statement reads. I have nothing but gratitude for having been a part of New Japan Pro Wrestling since 2007 and for NJPW bringing me from a 19 year old kid off the plane in Mexico to the rainmaker I am today. Thank you to the best of companies in NJPW, to the best of opponents that I've been able to face here and the best of fans that have cheered and booed over the years. I promise to make it rain in every match I have left so keep watching. Much like Will Ospreay who was announced to be signing for All Elite Wrestling in the months, Kazuchika Okada has reportedly been allowed to have the chance to talk with outside promotions to discuss a move, meaning he may have already made up his mind as to where he'll end up. It's long been rumoured that Triple H is a big fan of Okada, rumours that go back many years during his time in NXT, meaning we could see the current WWE Chief Content Officer make a major play for the former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. As for what we do know, Fightful Select are reporting that AEW were hopeful that Okada joins their ranks, whilst WWE sources they spoke with expect the signing to be an option that they explore. It's also worth mentioning that a burnt bridge between Okada and TNA was recently rebuilt, with them going as far as to kissing the logo on the mat during their recent television tapings, although it remains to be seen if they can compete financially with the two larger American companies. Former WWE United States Champion Andrade is another name that finds himself without a deal, this after his All Elite Wrestling contract came to an end at the start of January 2024. Since then, it's been heavily reported that he's expected to show up in WWE any time now, with the feeling being that it's just a matter of time. To the surprise of many, the idol is still yet to make his return to WWE, although with the Royal Rumble just days away, this could provide the perfect opportunity to bring him back into the fold as one of the 30 men fighting out for a spot in the main event of WrestleMania. As for how he could be used, the natural conclusion would be for Andrade to link back up with longtime manager Zelina Vega as part of the Latino World Order on Friday Night Smackdown, a show that already houses his real life wife Charlotte Flair, making this the ideal scenario all around. Internet champion Zack Ryder is arguably one of the most innovative wrestlers in recent times with his 2011 YouTube series Z True Long Island Story, showing that you can get over with fans without the backing of the WWE system. His savvy online approach has seen him replicate similar success since his WWE release in April 2020, with the now Matt Cardona managing to make himself the most talked about and most must-see name on the independent scene. Now approaching year four of his free age, agency, it's beginning to feel like Matt has achieved almost everything there is to do outside of the major promotions, at least in the United States, having held gold almost everywhere he's shown up. 
Matt's wife Chelsea Green made her WWE return last year, with it being heavily rumoured that Cardona would be joining her, with there at one point being internal discussions of a reality show centred around the couple. Whilst his return has yet to come to fruition, it feels like 2024 is the year that Matt Cardona will finally make his return to one of the major promotions, no pun intended, with WWE being the most likely suitor with the indie god to sign a big contract. Matt Riddle has seen his name hit headlines several times in recent years during his run with WWE, not necessarily always for the right reasons. With that said, it's hard to argue that following his WWE release back in September 2023, the King of Bros has become one of the most recognisable names on the free agency market right now. Having recently made his return to Major League Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling in recent weeks, it appears that Riddle is still without an exclusive contract and is able to appear for any wrestling company he chooses. It's safe to say that Riddle has a lot of things attached to his name that could prevent another top American company picking him up anytime soon, but he did recently reveal that one of his goals is to work a match with top AEW star Kenny Omega, although the cleaner currently is out of action for the foreseeable future following a diverticulitis diagnosis. His MMA-inspired style is no doubt a great fit for NJPW and MLW, where he currently finds himself booked, although he does have the name value to make an impact in AEW or even TNA Wrestling were they willing to offer him a full-time contract, despite the potential backlash that could follow. On January 1st, 2024, former MLW World Champion Alex Hammerstone would hit the free agency market after an agreement was made with Major League Wrestling to allow his contract to expire earlier than originally agreed. The big man has since made an appearance in TNA Wrestling, losing to former Impact Champion Josh Alexander at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view, although Fightful Select reporting that he's not signed a contract with any promotion. They would also reveal that there has been discussions over joining TNA on a full-time basis, Although I wouldn't necessarily be surprised to see offers being made from elsewhere for the 33-year-old, who has the size, look and ability to be a star in WWE or anywhere else for that matter. With that said, it looks like TNA are leading the race to secure his signature. Ronda Rousey stands as a highly coveted free agent in pro wrestling, with her name value boosted by achievements in both UFC and WWE. Her transition from a dominant UFC women's bantamweight champion to a WWE Raw and SmackDown women's champion brought a unique legitimacy and excitement to the women's division, though in the end there were many left feeling that she never quite connected to the audience due to her instant path to the top of the card. Her recent return to the independent wrestling scene, including an appearance in Ring of Honor has provided the rowdy one an opportunity to has provided the rowdy one an opportunity to pay her dues so to speak and potentially earn the respect of the wrestling audience that were angered by her perceived shortcut to the top with her recent indie appearances signaling her tent to continue her in-ring career the star power of Ronda Rousey is undisputed and she can now use her position as a free agent to not only boost her respect levels but she can also use it as a chance to hone her skills that some feel may be lacking both in the ring and on the mic. As to if she could sign for a major promotion anytime soon, All Elite Wrestling is potentially an option as Tony Khan would reveal that he'd welcome her back anytime shortly following her Ring of Honor debut, though she has her work cut out when it comes to being accepted by that audience. Camille, a former NWA Women's World Champion, has become one of the most sought-after free agents in pro wrestling. Her contract with NWA ended in late 2023, marking the conclusion of a tenure highlighted by an 812-day reign as NWA Women's World Champion. Rumours would begin to fly following Camille's recent appearance backstage at an AEW Dynamite taping in North Charleston, South Carolina. While reportedly there to visit friends, this has sparked speculation about potential negotiations with all Elite Wrestling. Adding to the intrigue, WWE has reportedly shown interest in Camille, who was said to have extended an offer for her to join the NXT brand. She has previously expressed her aspirations of joining WWE, likening it to joining the New York Yankees. Her decision whether to join WWE or AEW or elsewhere is likely not too far away at this point. After a lengthy part-time stint with WWE, WCW legend Goldberg officially became a free agent at the start of 2023. This was after his defeat at the hands of Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber 2022, which till this date was his final match with the company. His contract would then expire at the end of 2022, with WWE choosing not to renew it. Since becoming a free agent, he was expected to be announced for a retirement tour in Israel, although the promotion's debut show would be cancelled. 
since then, no reports have emerged as to Goldberg's future, although it's likely we'll see him show up somewhere for one last match or run, but where this will take place is anyone's guess. He is said to have been promised a WWE retirement match by Vince McMahon, something he ultimately didn't get, and whether the aforementioned Israeli company end up giving him this opportunity remains to be seen. Again, given Tony Khan's love for WCW, maybe AEW could be an option, although by now I feel like this would have already happened if it was going to. Ross and Marshall Von Erich, descendants of the legendary Von Erich wrestling dynasty, have emerged as two of the most sought after free agents in the world of pro wrestling today. During their tenure with MLW, the Von Erich brothers not only honored their family legacy, but also carved out their own distinct path. Following their exit from MLW, where their deals recently expired, the Von Erich's appearances in All Elite Wrestling and Ring of Honor further fueled rumors regarding their future, with this potentially being a landing spot for them in the near future. Adding to their name value is the release of The Iron Claw, a film chronicling the rise and fall of the original Von Erich brothers. This movie has reignited interest in the Von Erich legacy, casting a spotlight on Ross and Marshall as the current bearers of that storied name. The film's portrayal of the family's triumphs and tragedies has resonated deeply with audiences outside of the wrestling bubble, creating a newfound appreciation for the Von Erichs, creating an opportunity to build an angle around an upbeat continuation of the story. Mercedes Monet, the former Sasha Banks in WWE, is coming off the back of a dream move to New Japan Pro Wrestling, where she would become the IWGP Women's Champion. Her exit from WWE in January 2023 would open the door for this run, although a deal with New Japan has now come to an end, with her now looking to take the next step in her career. Mercedes is reportedly seeking to become the highest paid women's wrestler in the world, and has been locked in negotiations with both WWE and AEW to achieve that goal in recent months. It would seem that WWE have been priced out of a deal, at least for now, with AEW now leading the charge to snap her up. Although, as we saw with the recent return of CM Punk, things can change very quickly and last minute agreements can be made. With the Royal Rumble just days away and with AEW heading into the most important year of its short lifespan, Mercedes remains as one of the few major names left to be signed on the open market and her next move feels like it's just around the corner. Maxwell Jacob Friedman has risen to the very top of All Elite Wrestling over recent years, where he became the AEW World Champion in the space of just over three years. This after entering the company with little to no name value outside of those that followed independent wrestling. During his prior run as the company's top heel, MJF would reveal that his contract expires on January 1st, 2024, even teasing a bidding war between AEW and WWE. That date has now since been and gone, although there is a large portion of the fan base that believe Max is already tied down to a long-term contract with AEW, with this apparently being the feeling within WWE as well. Despite this feeling, Max was recently removed from the official All Elite Wrestling roster page on the company website, once again fueling speculation as to what his future could hold. Albeit a small one, there's always a chance that Maxwell Jacob Friedman is now in fact a free agent, or at least that's what AEW and MJF want you to believe, but we'll have to wait some time before finding out due to the former world champion being on the shelf with injuries that could keep him out of action for a number of months. And before you go, make sure you check out 10 Tony Khan's secrets AEW wants you to forget. 